As new conflicts emerged or deepened in the course of the past 18 months, children continued to pay a heavy toll, perhaps the heaviest. The evolving nature and tactics of armed conflict have created unprecedented threats for children. The absence of clear frontline and identifiable opponents and the increasing use of terror tactics have made children more vulnerable. I invite the representatives of Canada, the Central African Republic. Awareness on the professional obligations of peacekeepers to protect children and their accountability to meet these obligations in Mali and in other theaters where UN peacekeepers operate is critical. As part of the transition from AFISMA to MINUSMA, all AFISMA troops will be subject to pre-deployment training and vetting procedures, including the requirements of the UN human rights screening policy, so as to ensure that they meet force requirements and have the necessary skills to implement the mandate. India, Iraq, Myanmar. We urge that they neither position their troops among civilians nor target each other in the middle of villages, towns and cities. And we urge that they adopt rules to guide how and where expl explosive weapons can be used. Second is the use of schools in military operations. UNICEF is deeply concerned by this. It poses grave risk to children and educators. It robs children of the opportunity to learn, and it violates their right to education. Thailand to participate in this meeting. Sexual violence has significant physical, psychological, and social impact on children, but their needs for specific protection and child-sensitive responses are frequently neglected. In the Eastern Democratic Republic of Congo, our assessments in and around Goma have revealed significant numbers of children affected by sexual violence. Say so the children is working in the camps to identify victims to assist them with appropriate health and psychosocial services. More action is needed to end sexual violence, including legal reforms and adequate funding to support child-sensitive and appropriate responses. The Council, I welcome the presence at the Council table of His Excellency.